and welcome to another episode of um, our Guernsey FC save. Um, looking at our transfer screen, and um, yeah, we've got three more in. You might not have had a look at to this point. Terry Stevenson, um, two and a half star defender, looking pretty good. Uh, he was on a trial, and then we got him for a little bit longer. Um, the the jury was out whether he was two star or three star. It's coming in the middle. So yeah, he's useful to have. Pretty good physicals. This is eighteen. Ten mark in nine tackling. Yeah, it could be useful backup. I think there. Um, Justice Abusu is a twenty three year old keeper who's on a play to play. Um, he is a third, basically third keeper. So he won't <laughs> he won't cost us anything. I don't think. Um, but yeah, again, two star keeper, relatively. Um, Good physically, good aerial reach, good reflexes, good um, bravery, really. So, yeah, not too bad. And 194, so that's what, 6 5, 6 4 ish. So, so, a decent height for a keeper. Not quite as big as our, our giant 17 year old, though, but hey ho. And Matthew Campbell, again from Showley. He's a right side midfielder. We've, we've used a, a, a bit of um, right midfield and left midfield in this um, season so far um, and two and a half stars puts him sort of second our second best right midfield winger so um, yeah good first touch and relatively good physicals but yeah just solid two and a half sort of the, the level of people that I can get into the squad unfortunately so we've had a, a good few games since our first game of the season a 2-0 win against Paul which was superb and it's cons just consistently got worse and worse and worse. Getting very boring now. Weymouth, 1 0. Second minute free kick, all over. Um, it was pretty sewn up, if I remember rightly. 13 shots to 7. Possession was relatively um, level, but yeah, nothing much happened. That was a, a 4 1 4 1 formation. Really trying to work out how Ugo can play and where he wants to play because if you look at his league average is 6.7 if we look at his form it's all a bit uninspiring apart from the game against Bideford um, his first game the first of the pre-season friendlies 8.4 against Everton under 23 he's playing the sort of central midfield attack so I put him back to centre midfield attack in the last game and say 7.2 with an assist so yeah, that's where I think we're going to look to play him. I'd love to play him, attack him, a sort of advanced playmaker higher up the pitch. Um, and I'm going to keep on trying to do that, but I think we might end up having him, have to have him as a sort of centre mid attack, which is a shame because we've got him, we've got Cholton, and we've got Charlie, and they're three of our best players, and they all want to play in the same position, which is a real bugger, really, isn't it? Um, a 0 0 against Pontefract Collieries. Yeah, what can I say about this? Yeah, Charlton got a slight injury, but nothing much. Nobody really did anything all game. It was a really dour game. Six shots to their... Well, our seven to their six. Um, had a little bit more possession. All very, very, very level. I mean, you look at their defenders getting a few sevens. So maybe we had a little bit more for us going forward than they did. Yeah. Hungerford, two all. This was a really good result at the end of the day. They've got a forward called Harry Lim, who um, at the moment seems to be scoring for fun. Four in six in the league, two in four non-competitive. Um, 7.43 average. Yeah, sort of anything he touched was either a goal or it was leading to something that was diff uh, was dangerous. But um, if we go back to the stats, 10 shots to R8. Um, we had a little bit less possession again, but... Look at that. Josh Brakefield got sent off for a second yellow, I believe. Just a little niggle outside the edge of their area. Uh, but we we snuck it with Charlton um, in the 92nd minute. Um, straight from a corner. I think yeah, yeah, it was a tap in from a corner. He's literally unmarked. So, yeah, 2-2. Two, two. And then two one ones on the bounce. Hendon, who was second at the time, I believe. Um, yeah, we came back to one on as well. So that was... Very annoying, shall we say, um, with Montel Aguiman getting the 82nd minute goal. If we look at the stats of this one, they were on top. <laughs> I think at one point it was 11 shots to our zero. 
Um, but we did end up having more possession than them. This was a narrow 4-1, three midfielders, two up front, and it just didn't seem to work. I'm still not, as you can see from these formations here, not really settled on one that we can be sure is going to do something for us in a game. And in Bideford, yeah, we had Josh, um, sorry, Josh scored to bring it back to one all, and then Tom got himself sent off um, for a professional foul, I believe. And then, yeah, they scored in the 91st. We just couldn't keep them out. And it, that was, yeah, a, a real, real kick, that was. So, yeah, we bring it here today for Hitchin in the FA Cup. And they are the league level below us, but they're in the Bostic North. Um, always have trouble against these teams that are a bit lower than us. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try this... Four two three one. I if Hugo doesn't just doesn't get it basically as an advanced playmaker, then I'm gonna have to ditch playing it. I've played it a few times, and when it works, it really works, and we dominate. It's just a case of just just a case of yeah, just playing because we seem to play well. And then just fall off a cliff of, um, of our performances. It's, it's madness. I've never played an FM like it where you're constantly having to tinker because otherwise you will just fall off the cliff. So, but yeah, we're playing a, a wideish style, focusing play down the middle, but we've got overlaps because of our wing backs. Um, everything else is very similar to what we've done before with countering um, distribution across the back line, uh, but having a stretch of a line between standard and higher instead of standard standard because we've got that extra sort of level in the middle there with um, our attacking midfielders. It does leave, maybe leave a little bit of space between our um, defence and our middle line, but Josh Brakefield playing in support ball and it tends to play relatively deep there. Charlton as Carriero trying to link up with that sort of a mid, a advanced midfield line. Um, and I'm playing these flat defenders at the moment because it seems to work better than the stopper cover but that might change and the stopper cover could be useful because the stopper will be closer to Charlton coming back because Carriero is just literally shuttled between advanced midfield and defensive midfield so there might be a little bit of disconnect there it's just a shame you can't put 12 players on the pitch because I'd love to just put somebody right in the middle there that would work lovely but hey ho so let's submit this team yeah Playing a few players that don't often play. I mean, Nathan played a lot in the first season, but hasn't really played much since. It's be nice to see if he can, yeah, get himself back in. We have Tommy Scott, Tamil one playing on the left apart as opposed to Henry Smith because, yeah, just want to give him a game. Um, Eels is one of our new signings, uh, has played one game, and Andy Byrne. Tom is out, which will be interesting to see these two playing together. Um, Tom is out because of suspension. Liam Triggs, Josh, and Charlton. Hugo, Nathan, Marcus and Jamie up front so yeah how do I go about this one I know how hard you're working to they said that first whole team speech doesn't do anything I, I'm actually thinking maybe not bothering doing that just going straight to these individual speeches let's have a look at the opposition for for the uh, Size at Galliford chap, I think I've come across him before, if I remember rightly. So I'm going to press him. I'm going to leave everything else as is, I think. Let's see if we can play against this 4 4 2, shall we? And Hitchin have the kickoff. Um, yeah, I'm not expecting vast amounts today. I think I say that too often. I'm not expecting vast amounts. There's something that we need to try and try and work on is settling into a formation I think Hugo coming in has sort of disrupted things a little bit because he is our best player but he doesn't know where he wants to play yet by the looks of it um, yeah it's all very level at the moment isn't it one shot we have possession but we don't seem to be able to do anything with it so we've got all this focusing attacks down the left I thought we were supposed to be attacking through the middle so their highlight, big ball in the middle, Jones, oh and Tamil comes in nicely there, Jamie, what are you doing? Let everybody come on side then, that was pretty poor. 
yeah, I think he's got to go, Andrew Byrne. He is, just makes so many mistakes. That was absolutely awful. Look at this. I, I don't want to moan about the game, but that would never happen in real life. You just wouldn't run past a ball. You wouldn't do it. I don't think you could be playing like tier 22 and you wouldn't run past the ball like that. You'd get your head on it. And he's still showing as a six point, sort of 6.6. .6. That will be like a major error in my book. All right. So there's lots going on down the left there. Let's take a fo Something's happening with my mouse. Take. Okay, I've had this before. Um, 12 seconds later. All right, I think I've got the mouse back working again. Um, yeah, you've got focus down the left and down the right, I think, purely because it looked like that's the way we wanted to play. Even though we were focusing down the middle, um, we were showing like 69% of focus attacks down the wing, so. Let's see if anything comes of that. At the moment, I doubt it somehow. Just completely out of form, and I just don't get it. Don't get it at all. There's just something not working. There's no link up. Maybe it's me dicking about with the formation too much. I don't know. Just awful. Can't keep having a go at them. And they keep loving the fact that I'm having a go at them. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. I don't know what happened there either. Um... Yeah. Do I pull these back? Now I wonder with the wing backs whether these are just getting in the way. Maybe they should come narrower. Can I? No, they don't want to play like that, do they? Do I go mad and take my wingers off or take my wing backs off wing back? <laughs> Put them on full back defend. Because um, they're wingers, they have to stay wide. Walden doesn't like playing as anything else, really. So I'm going to have to. Maybe supporting full backs. I mean, yeah, I know. Maybe put him as wing back support. That's going to get. It's going to be the same issue, isn't it? The full back support. Fullback support. Yeah, so. What do I do? Do I, do I bring him back into the middle of a. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him ball winning support, have him as a centre mid attack, have him as a. Now, do I use a Metzala? Or is it good to have like a deep line playmaker as well? So have a deep line line playmaker, a ball in midfield, I said all doing different things, and a central mid to sort of get up the pitch a bit. I have him bang centre, I think. And have Josh still in there as a ball winner. Now we used to play this formation, so it might be it's the four three three. Cautious wide. Let's go extremely wide. Take the focuses off, take the overlaps off, and just leave that open. Um, maybe bring that back to standard or bring that up to higher. Doesn't matter if Andrew Burns going to let the ball through anyway. It makes no difference whatsoever, does it? And who have we got that we can take off? Because Marcus has not played well, has he? This M. Campbell Matthew. He likes being. Uh, let's give him a game. He like would prefer to play in a four-five-one, wouldn't he? Maybe not. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait on that one because Marcus can do a job. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Let's see if this does anything. 
Because that, I mean, Hugo does look, look good. It's just I worry that my wingers are just not strong enough to do this kind of wing play. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we um, went out of all the cups, not have the fixture um, issues that you get, but. Uh, I might bring Sean on, but have him as an anchor man, so I don't have to worry about the defence, and that can let these guys do a little bit more. Um, I think I'm going to go put positive as well. Let's see if that does anything. So they have the ball into the middle. Charlton gets there first. Jamie Calvin gets in. Has a go and over. It's just, is it that our front line's just not high enough up the pitch? Because he was having a go from... I think we're going to have to do that, spread it a little bit. We've got So we've got all the lines there now, so... I'm just, just going to come off extremely wide. I'm going to demand a bit more. Yeah, we, we've forgotten how to score recently properly as well. We're getting one again, but... All right, Jamie out to Marcus. Get the ball over. Good ball. That's more like it. Charlton's in the right place at the right time. Deep line playmaker. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to be a, appearing in the box like that. He's playing like he's still playing as a centre mid and attack. That was good. Two players on him. That was a nice low cross. That was good. Okay, so that's positive. Made a change and it made a difference. Can't even praise them now and they get overwhelmed by the fact that I'm praising them. Um, right, so you goes on. 69% He's, he does get shattered I'm going to bring Charlie on to do that job now Nathan's a bit rubbish uh, 6 one is better than what Marcus has done Marcus did get that, that cross though it's not oh no I don't see assists on here do I forget it um, I'm going to bring Blake on but as I hit the target man so you can hit him on it. Now I'm going to leave him as poacher as well. And um, yeah, hopefully, because he's got a bit, of a, a bit of a left foot on him. So we've got 15 shots here now. So they're five. But only two of them are on target. Yeah, I'll give him Ruben a, a rest today as well. Um, it does look like it's done for one all, doesn't it? Honestly, thought this was going to be a loss, but let's see. Liam to Blake. Pull it over. No. Pop it over. No. Oh, for crying out loud. Liam, cross it. No. Isaac Galliford on the ball. Back to Watson to steal. And that's that. Yeah, a ball draw. It is a struggle at the moment. It really is. Um, <laughs> what a comeback that was. The, the level we're playing at and the level that the boys think they're playing at are not the same thing. If I say that's a great comeback, they're going to love it. You're playing as a team a league below. It's shocking. Absolutely shocking. Uh, yeah. Right, so next time, seriously don't want to put you guys through anything you don't need to go through. So I'm thinking we come back. This is a weird bit as well. We've got a game on the 18th and then we've got a cup game on the 6th. That might change now um, with a sort of a game that gets put into that little a uh, little bit of time there but we had no games for two weeks in the middle of the season yeah it was all those 
messing about and re reordering the games earlier on that I showed in the last one of the episode but one ago no or was it can't remember but yeah um, I think we come back somewhere towards the Farnborough game that was another thing as well it was 7 out of the first 10 um, league games were away it was, we got 4 away games in a row there which is shocking so yeah I'm going to bring us back somewhere near the Farnborough game um, hopefully our form will have picked up a little bit I'm definitely thinking about going middle three now, <laughs> really, or just popping back to the defensive midfielder, two in front, so the two in front can be attacking minded and do what the hell they want. But yeah, if you like this episode, leave a thumbs up, that'd be amazing. I subscribe for this now every, I think I said Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and um, hopefully see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.